crafters and crafters. I'm Tammy from stampwithtammy.com and today is a really exciting day over on my blog. Today is my Stamp It Demonstrators monthly blog hop and Valentine's Day is the theme. If you're not familiar with what a blog hop is, it's when a group of bloggers get together with a common theme and we all make special projects for the hop and they are over the top. My girls are amazing. If you've been on any of our blog hops in the past, you know what I'm saying. They're awesome. And today's video is my blog hop project. And I wanted to go a little bit outside the Valentine's Day box and do something a little bit different. I was inspired by a card I saw by Heidi Bax and it uses a sunburst watercolor wash and wow, so cool. So after I show you how to make this awesome card, click on over to my blog post and you can take the blog hop tour and check out all of these amazing Valentine's Day projects. And be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video where I am going to announce our blog hop giveaway. You're not going to want to miss this. Let's get started. And here it is up close. Just awesome. This is such a wow. I really want to show you this heart. It's made from crystal effects. I'm going to show you how to make this. And I've cut this to open portrait. If you are new to my channel, thank you. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun. And you can get all of the measurements, the supply list, all of the information on everything I'm using in this card so easily just by going to this URL or clicking in the link in the YouTube description below. And that will bring you right to my blog in this projects page. And you can order all the products I'm about to use there too including but not limited to these two awesome stamp sets that are new in the occasions catalog going global and timeless textures i'm going to start with our stamping and then i'll show you how to create the sunburst background the words are stamped in basic black and the globe image is stamped in pacific point and i've stamped these on a piece of scrap very vanilla paper i've got the sizzix big shot die cut machine and the multi-purpose cutting platform I've got one cutting pad down and I'm gonna put the images we just stamped. The globe could be cut out with a two inch circle punch as well. Um, I don't have that one handy. So I am taking the fourth smallest circle and we're gonna use that to cut out the globe. And I'm actually taking this banner from the circle thinlets. And that is gonna cut out the banner for You Mean the World to Me. So just gonna line those two up. If you have the magnetic platform, it's great to use instead of the multi-purpose for this. Again, don't have it handy, so that just holds everything in, that just holds our die in place in case you shake or move it or anything. We're just gonna crank this through. Next, I've got the card base, which is basic black, and I've got another panel that I cut to layer on top of it. It is totally okay if you wanna skip this and stamp right on the card base. I, I really prefer using an extra panel for this. I'm gonna show you the heart next because this step is gonna take a few minutes to dry. So we're just gonna punch that heart out. This adorable little heart punch is from the Itty Bitty Punch Pack. So I'm taking some crystal effects and I'm just using my, my little scissors here to hold this heart steady. Be still my beating heart. And if you have a tiny little paintbrush, that's very handy for this technique. Um, since I don't, I'm just gonna use the nozzle of the bottle and just kind of push that crystal effects around like so. And then that needs to sit aside to dry. Next, I've got the main panel that I'll be using. These little dots are from the Timeless Texture stamp set. I'm inking them in the Whisper White ink pad. It's a pigment ink pad, and it's really the only one that's gonna show up on black. And you'll notice I'm stamping it, moving it around, and I'm stamping it quite a few times before I re-ink it. So it has, it has some depth to it. Some are, some are bolder, some are softer. And this will be our background behind our sunburst. For the color wash watercoloring technique I'm doing on the background, I am using some of Stampin' Up's watercolor paper and it does make a difference. I'm also using an aqua painter, which is just a little paintbrush. This little tip comes off. You pour water in the tube and then you just squeeze it and the water comes down and wets the brush and it's awesome. Now I'm using the ink pads to watercolor with. We've got Daffodil Delight Pumpkin Pie and Cherry Cobbler. You may have just saw me squeeze the center of the pad and then when I open it, there's ink that's pooled in the lid. So I wanna do that with all three of these pads. And then I'm gonna be using these to watercolor with. So I'm using the scrap paper just to kind of test the wetness. I want this brush to be really, really wet. And then I'm gonna pick up the yellow and 
I actually did almost the entire back in yellow, making sure that your brush is pretty wet. Kind of spread that all around the background. So our background is fairly wet and it's fairly yellow. <laughs> now I'm gonna start in the center with the cherry cobbler and work our way out. So I'm just kind of going in a circle there, making it darker in the middle, working our way lighter in the edges, and then just wipe that brush dry and pick up some of the pumpkin pie and work out. And then I went ahead and did another layer of the Daffodil Delight just around the edges of this pumpkin pie. I didn't bring this one all the way to the edge, but I did let these colors run together. And when you're done, each one's gonna look a little different. That's, that's part of the beauty of the color wash technique. This is very wet and it's going to need to dry. So you can either put it aside or um, I'm gonna use the heat emboss tool to dry mine. Okay, we're bringing the Big Shot back in. Same layers as before. I'm now using this super cool sunburst framelit. And I'm gonna try to get this round part as close to the center of the watercolor paper as I can get it. And run that through the big shot. And then it really just pops out. If, if you have the um, the dye brush, you can use it in these little holes or the paper piercer, but you probably don't need it for this particular dye. Wow, right? <laughs> Isn't that cool? Each one's gonna be a little bit different. So now we're going to do some assembly. Just a reminder that you want this to be completely dry when you attach it or the adhesive won't stick. I used snail adhesive and I brought it out to the end. You wanna make sure you get those these tips of the sunburst with the adhesive so they stay down. Isn't that amazing? Such a wow. You can either put the globe dead on or you, I liked it at a little bit of an angle so it kind of gave the illusion that it's spinning a little bit. These go on with Stampin' Dimensionals, the little banner underneath, and I cut a little edge off of the dimensionals for that little heart. It was just a tad too small for a full dimensional. When that crystal effects dries, it dries clear. That's how you know that it's dry and it's so awesome. And then I just put that top panel on the card base using some snail adhesive. Put a layer of very vanilla inside the card so that you can write your greeting in there. And this wow card is complete. So cool, right? As promised, it's time for our Stamp It Blog Hop giveaway, which is going to be the December calendar paper pumpkin kit that was so popular, it sold out in a nanosecond. And it's really, really hard to find and get. So one way to get it is to win this contest and it's super easy to enter. All you need to do is leave a comment on my blog or any of the blogs in this blog hop. You can enter once per blog, and there's 16 blogs in the hop, so you could enter 16 times. It's really important that you be sure to add the hashtag Stamp It Contest. And if you're viewing this video after the drawing deadline, simply click on over to my specials page and you can take part in my current giveaway. Be sure to sign up for my newsletter while you're there too, because I give away free card tutorials every Tuesday. Thanks for joining me today.